to you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ for today's meditation. First Chronicles chapter 16 verse 11. First Chronicles chapter 16 verse 11. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. I did it again. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Evermore. Always. This is what we are going to meditate today. Psalm of David, he very beautifully says, I will exalt the Lord at all times and his praise shall be always in my lips. My friend, we have to always, always do certain things in this Christian life. We cannot take a break. We cannot take a pause. We cannot stop anywhere. We need to be moving forward always in our life. Yes, we have our Savior who intercedes for us 24 by 7. He always intercedes for us. He remembers us. He loves us always. Today, we have a God who thinks about us always. And so, we are to always do certain things. What should we be doing always? Few things I would like to show you from the Word of God. Number one. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 34, it says like this, Proverbs 8 34. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors. Always watching. Be watchful always. Always you need to be watchful. We need not know when Satan will try to devour us. Yes, my friend. We need to be always watchful. He is like a roaring lion. He, many traps are there around us. And we should be watchful. That is why the word of the Lord says, Watch and pray. Yes, never get tired. Never get low. Never give up. Always keep watchful. Be watching. And be watchful all the time. We do not know when we will fall. We should be careful in our Christian life. Everything that you do, be watchful and do. Pray and start anything. Pray and do everything. Prayerfully decide anything. Ask for the will of God and know the will of God and do everything. Be watchful always. Number two, 2 Samuel chapter 9, verse 7, it says like this. So David said to him, Maybe Bushet. Do not fear, for I will surely show you kindness for Jonathan, your father's sake. He will restore to you all the land of Saul, your grandfather, and you shall eat bread at my table continually. Wow, what a beautiful word. Always eating bread in the table of David. Maybe Boshet was a lame man who could not walk. And now, David chose favor to him for the sake of the name of Jonathan. And now David says, you can dine in my table continually. My friend, we were like maybe Boshit. We were lame. Thank God for he sent Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, we've got the privilege to dine in this living word of God. This is the living bread. And he speaks to us. He gives us this bread to fill us. Dine in this word every day. Every day continually read this word. That will nourish you. So we should always be reading the word of God. Number three. Psalm chapter 105 verse 4. It says like this. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Yes, my friend. Seek the presence of God always. Not when you are in a need. Not when you are in a crisis. Not when you are in a problem, chaos. Not when you are troubled. But seek the Lord always. Even when everything is fine with you, seek him. And yes, that would be a blessing to you. The presence of God is always amazing. And when the presence of God fills you, oh, what a joy it is. Number four, 
first chronicles chapter 16 verse 37 and 39 so he left asap and his brothers there before the ark of the covenant of the lord to minister before the ark regularly as every day's work require and zadok the priest and his brethren the priest before the tabernacle of the lord at the high place that was at gibeon my friend always always serve the lord and offer sacrifices serve the lord always and offer sacrifices always this is what we need to be doing always always be watchful always feed on the word of god dine in this living word always seek the presence of god always serve the lord always give sacrifices to god and yes God would be pleased with us and we will be blessed. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for speaking to each and every one of us. Bless everyone who are watching this. Help them to follow these words and live this word in their life. Bless your children. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.